gonna do another wardrobe raid. We have with us today one of the biggest fashion personalities in Singapore, Linda Hao. Hey, hi. hi. Welcome to my house. Welcome to our show. So let the wardrobe reading begin. What would you say your sense of style is like? I'm very versatile. I dare to wear anything and everything. I like to play characters sometimes. If I'm feeling anime-ish, I'll wear like super colourful and cartoony. But if I'm feeling a bit mature, feminine, then I'll wear something else. Would you say that that like reflects in your design? Because you also have like a fashion label yourself. Yes. So would you say that it reflects in like your designing process? It's quite different when it comes to my personal style and when I'm designing. Mm -hmm. I do think that one thing that um, links is that I tend to design items that comes with a lot of accessories. Okay. So you can wear it this way, you can wear it that way. And I like to design stuff that's quite multifunctional. These are some pieces from my latest collection. It's the Spring Summer 2015. This is actually like asymmetrical skirt. So with pleat details. When I designed this, I actually stopped together with this little tuck with another mesh bra inside. It's a bit bold, but there's a lot of different ways you can wear it. So besides your like clothes, you also have a bag line, right? Oh yes, um, it's called Yes Totes. This is one of the bag. Ta da! It's huge. <laughs> I use it to travel. Actually, I'm always carrying this to the airport. And the reason why I came up with a bag line is because. I am someone who really like colourful, bright bags. But you don't really see that a lot. Yes. Yeah. So for me, why not? I just design my own. I get a lot of customers who are professors or like lecturers in school, uh -huh. but they are buying this kind of bags. Oh, okay. Yeah. I and would like to see our professor turn up with this. I love how it reminds me a bit of the... You know those bags that you put cold drinks inside and then they stay cold? Yeah, something like that. Maybe it, it does Can. serve this Have purpose. you tried it? No, I haven't. <laughs> I really like unique stuff, so I have so much of like my fruit accessories. Like it's all fruits, and like there's even more here that it's just weird stuff. That's a earring. Yeah, that's actually a <laughs> earring. It that actually looks really nice with yeah, what outfit, you are wearing right now. Really? She's gonna bring home. <laughs> no, it's expensive. I would really spend on brands that I have never ever heard mm -hmm. of. And this is handmade. Oh, so wow. this is a super chunky like neck piece. I noticed that there's like a Hello Kitty necklace. Is it a Hello Kitty necklace? Oh yes, it is. <laughs> I just bought it at some random shop that sells a lot of like weird statement accessories. In Singapore? And No, in China. And then mm. I, I learned that the owner actually made this by herself. Statement pieces, like, they're so recognisable. Would you like you wear them? No, so I don't want to. you wear one time and that's it? I would like you know, alternate. Okay. So mm. maybe like, okay, last month I've really wore this, so maybe I'll keep it for like next month or something. Or like, like next that. year. Because <laughs> yeah, it's like, so iconic. Yeah. What is your favourite of all these like? Actually, my favourite is something pretty simple, like this one from Topshop. It's actually a really chunky like chain necklace and I feel like it matches everything that I wear. Yeah. So like besides Topshop, where would you shop? Like just for, for the viewers? Um, I do shop a lot at like vintage stores. There is one that is at Bukit Tima, Salvation Army. I actually have this favourite like blazer that I bought for only like 10 bucks. It's shoulder padded mm -hmm. and I like it that the sleeve has these kind of details with the button. Like some of the vintage stuff I also like is like glasses. So it's really cute, it's like velvet. Yeah, and I love I. glasses, so I have a lot of shades. Some funny ones would be like this kind mm -hmm. that flips up. Whatever I wear, I will match it with socks. Mm -hmm. I never ever get sick of socks. This one is from Tomori Chisato. It's fully printed, which is why I love it. And it's a gradient. Another pair is this. It has this like sheer parts. So when you wear it, you actually look like you just have these highlighted stripes on your skin. So do you have any favourite brands? I think in Singapore, my favourite shop that I really like is Bimba Wailola mm -hmm. because it's a brand that has very eclectic prints yeah. but yet some items are quite safe. For example, this clutch, all the prints are really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. I really like the brand because I feel like there's all these small details that from one piece to another, it's very... Coherent. Yeah, it's very coherent. Yeah. What are your must-have pieces that you will never, ever, ever throw away? I love sequins to death. So, Me too. I own a lot of sequin okay. pieces. For example, this one, sequin sleeve jacket, mm -hmm. and it actually changes colour. This is like a xiao pei xing. What is a xiao pei xing? It's actually Again. like an ancient Chinese undergarment. undergarment. All of their items are actually like this, like, mm -hmm. and people wear it out just like that. Oh, alone? I mean, I alone. would totally yes. wear this to the beach. 
Really? Yeah, it's just really like revealing. Like even I only wore it to the club once, <laughs> like bare. bare. But it was. I felt very naked. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed taking a peek into Linda's wardrobe because I feel like it really gives you a very different perspective into fashion. And if you haven't already done so, download the Click Network app so you can watch us on your mobile devices wherever you go. And we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.